like a rhinestone cowboy. Dun, dun. What's up, everybody? Today we're going to be fighting the Royal Rat Authority. I'm going to show you the mechanics and how you can beat them pretty easy. If you don't know the fight, it could be pretty hard. I know a lot of people have been having trouble with them. So I'm going to show you all the different attacks he does and ways to avoid them. Now if you notice at the beginning, you can lock on to these little dogs or rats, whatever they are, from way back here. So I just got a little lightning spear and took them all out before they get here. It's kind of important. You want to make sure you kill these little dogs first before you try to fight the boss. Once they're down, it makes the fight a lot easier. Now he has different attacks. That one right there is his claw swipe, and that's normally when you want to attack him. And normally after he does that, he kind of jumps back, but if you get lucky, just try to stay behind him, uh, try to stay like underneath him. He doesn't have a, that big of a variety of attacks, but when he jumps back like that, normally he'll put his head down and lunge at you, but if you go forward quicker than you can do that, then he'll do his claw swipe again. And basically, I'm just kind of kiting around. Okay, here, he's about to do it. He puts his head down, he charges you. The only way you can dodge that is to roll backwards at the perfect time. I messed up right there. But after he does that, then he'll do some more claw swipes and we can go underneath him and like, get our health back. There's his head down again, but see, we were in front of him too much, so we missed. So it's kind of good to stay close to him. If you have a great shield, like the gym great shield, you can actually block every single one of his attacks if you hold it with two hands. And when he does the head lunge, if he hits you like that, it drains all your stamina, as you can see. So if you have that shield, you might as well use it because you can block everything. You just go underneath them, switch your weapon, or hit him with the shield, whatever you need to do. As long as you like avoid and roll backwards when he does his lunge attack, you should be fine. And that's what normally confuses everyone. They don't know that you have to roll backwards. And see right there, I rolled backward way too quick. You want to time it just right and he'll miss you or try to stay under him like this. Pretty good strategy. If you need health, make sure whenever he does his little claw swipe like that, uh, that's when you should be getting your health back. You shouldn't be trying to attack if you're low on health. You just want to be safe. When his health gets down to about 20%, uh, that's when he goes into his second phase and he gets uh, weakened and he starts vomiting all over the floor, some yellow stuff. And uh, it'll spread slowly underneath you and it's acid, which will hurt your durability and you should avoid it at all costs. But if you can kill him real fast like I did right there, then you don't even have to worry about it. He won't even try to throw up. This fight is really just about patience. You need to go in there, practice. He used to rolling backwards when he does his lunge attack. And once you get that down, then you'll pretty much be able to beat the boss easy. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do it. I got all the tips, tricks, secrets, and everything for Dark Souls 2, all the hidden locations. All the really good items so make sure you follow me on google plus i'll put the link in the description we might have a little hangout soon we can all play dark souls 2 together hope you enjoyed the video remember stay epic